Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to go over can I use my Lyric alarm sensors with the new Pro A7 Plus system? The answer is yes, but there are some conditions that you're going to want to uh, take note of. So first thing you'll need, if you're going to be using Lyric sensors with the system, if you have six branded sensors, SIX, those can pair directly with the panel with no issue at all. Uh, but if you have the older legacy Honeywell 5800 series sensors, or if you have two gig non-encrypted sensors, that's the non-E series, you're going to need the Pro Takeover module. Now with that, only one of the two can be used with the system. Uh, so if you have both 5800 and the non-E series two gig sensors, you're going to have to select which ones you want to use with the system, as you can't use both. The reason being is that this module can be only set to work with either or. Uh, there's a little dial here that will show a little bit closer. Uh, you're going to set that dial to work with either the 5800 or the 2 gig sensor. So again, you cannot use both with this system. Okay, so here is the takeover module. Uh, now by default, when you get this, it's going to be set to number 0, which is the 5800 sensors. And if you're upgrading from a Lyric system, uh, as we mentioned earlier in the video, that's either going to use 5800 or 2 gig. Uh, if you are going to be using 2 gig sensors, you would take a flathead screwdriver and turn that dial to number 1. And that's going to set this to work with 2 gig sensors. Uh, number 2 is DSC sensors. Number 3 is Colsys. And number 4 is Bosch. Those sensors are not going to be used with the Lyric system. So we don't have to worry about those for now. So again, you're just going to want to focus on either setting this to zero if you're using 5800 Honeywell sensors or turn the dial to one if you're going to be using two gig sensors. Uh, now we're going to show how to install this into the panel. Okay, so we have the Pro A7 Plus system. We have the mounting plate removed. Uh, so this is going to expose the battery pack. And this uh, side panel here, so the side that the battery is on, we're going to remove this by pressing in the tab right here. And then just removing that. And we're going to have this slot right here, which is where we're going to install the Pro Takeover module. And the installation is very simple for this. You just slide it in. And push until secured. And a good way to tell also is that this hole will line up with the uh, screw port where you can install a securing screw if you want to as well. All right, so we can install the cover back onto the system, nice and secured. And we have the Pro Takeover module installed into the panel now, so we're now we're gonna review the uh, programming process. Okay, uh, so we have our Pro Takeover module installed into the panel. Uh, we have the dial set to zero, which is how it's gonna come initially. And again, that is for 5800 Honeywell series sensors uh, or Honeywell 5800 series sensors. And then for the sensor itself, we have a 5816, which we're going to get programmed to the system. Uh, so for, for programming, we're going to go to the bottom menu here, which is the three bars. We're going to scroll until we get to tools. And we have our installer code, which is what we're going to use. Uh, it's still set to the default of 4112. We're going to go to programming. Okay, so for alarm sensors, this is going to be under the peripherals option. Uh, we're going to do a add new sensor, so that's the plus icon right here. And we're going to fault the sensor. Perfect, it programmed in. And then uh, it's going to show the 5800 and takeover. It's going to show our serial number there. Since we're using the 5816 sensor as a fully wireless sensor, we're going to want to change the service number from 1 to 2. And then we can also put a description here. We had put back. So the system is going to say back and then door uh, as the device type is going to be set as well. So we don't have to type in door as the second description on here. So that's looking good. Let's save. We're going to back out of programming. All right, now let's test it. We're going to fault the sensor. Back door open. Perfect. And let's make sure it closes. Excellent. It cleared. 
Okay, so that is how you get your older sensors programmed to the new Pro A7 Plus system. Again, the six series sensors, which were designed specifically for the Lyric system, they can program without any issue. You don't need any extra modules or anything like that. Uh, we programmed an older 5800 Mini to the system, and we showed that the module we have is set to work with those sensors. Uh, if you have two gig sensors, you're just gonna have to change the dial on this for two gig, and then it programs the exact same way. Uh, if you did like the video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about any future videos we release. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 888-818-7728. Uh, we have an email. Our email address is support at alarmgrid.com. And if you go to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, we have a live chat option on there as well. So either way, feel free to reach out with any questions and we'll be happy to assist you. Again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid, and thank you for watching.